Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in Search Engine Optimization, we will discuss about mobile SEO. What is mobile SEO? What are the different types of mobile SEO? Mobile SEO configuration. What are the different types of configuration? What you need to do to make your website more mobile friendly and search engine friendly. Let's get started with it. What is mobile SEO? Users are accessing website more and more on mobile devices. There is a phenomenal growth as far as people accessing websites on smartphones are concerned. There is a huge, huge, huge increase all over the world. Due to this phenomenal growth, websites need to be responsive and easily accessible to the users. Websites need to be responsive. This is the point number one that you need to take into consideration when you are building a website. It has to be responsive, period. Optimizing the website and making them user friendly is key to growing business. Of course, yes, you have millions and millions of people accessing websites through their mobile. It is imperative for you to make your website responsive and accessible for the users so that it becomes user friendly and more and more traffic can be generated from your website. Key attributes of a good mobile SEO. What you need to take into consideration? The factors that makes your website mobile friendly. It responsive design, first and foremost point, make your website responsive so that it is available on desktop, laptops, tablets and smartphones. Consistent content, extremely important. Make sure the content is displayed properly and it is consistent in line with your business. Navigation system. More often than not, what we see is even though the website is responsive, it is available on the mobile phone, but links actually not properly displayed on the mobile phone. Make sure the links are clearly available and you have a good navigation system. Lightweight, it is extremely important. Make sure that when a user types a particular website on the browser, the website is displayed immediately. And you need to ensure that when your website actually Make sure that you know you need to actually optimize the website and make it lightweight so that it doesn't take much time for the users to browse the website. The more the time it takes, the more you will lose customers and traffic. Visible links. All the links that you have on your website, whether it's on the header, whether it's in the body part or in the footer, are clearly visible without actually swiping around for the users. They need to be available. All the links need to be available on the website so that the user be, it becomes easy for the users to actually click on these links and go to the relevant pages. What is mobile configuration? Now, there are actually three factors that actually to be taken into consideration when we talk about mobile configuration. One is responsive and the responsive website the URL will remain the same and the HTML pages will remain the same. That is a responsive website. You have a dynamic server serving the URL will remain the same but the HTML page that is retrieved and displayed is a different one. Separate URLs the URL will be different and the HTML will be different. These are actually the different configuration that are available for us. Now let's go into each one of them and see how actually they work. Responsive design. Responsive web design also called as RW is an approach that enables the site to be viewed across multiple screens. It remains the same URL and the same domain but displays multiple across multiple screens whether it is a desktop or a laptop or a tablet or a smartphone. The URL and the page will remain the same whether you, whichever the machine that you are using that is a responsive design. It serves the same HTML code on the same URL. If you have a www.abc.com the same URL will be available across all machines across any machine that you are using and adjust the display based on the screen size of the mobile devices. The screen size actually responsive, so responsive that on, when you weave it on the desktop, it is properly aligned. When you weave it on a laptop, the same alignment is available as according to the laptop and the so on like on a tablet and on a smartphone. The alignment is so adjusted, it happens dynamically, automatically, whatever the screen that you are using, it displays the website completely and properly and that is actually a responsive design. 
Second is dynamic serving. What is dynamic serving? Dynamic serving is where the URL of the domain remains the same but serves a different HTML. URL abc.com it remains the same but when you view it on a smartphone the HTML page is a different HTML page. Google need to be notified that the content being crawled may be different on a mobile devices. You see the website on a desktop, you see the same website on a mobile phone, the domain will remain the same but pages are different but the same content exists. You need to update and inform, notify the search engines particularly Google that the content remains the same on both the pages. Separate URLs, in separate URLs, two separate URLs are served, tutorialspoint.com and m.tutorialspoint.com. These are two different URLs. This is for the desktop and the laptop and this may be for a smartphone. These are two different URLs but the main domain remains the same. But it is configured to ensure that the website is available for the mobiles. Now these are two different URLs. Not considered a good practice when the site is too big. When you are having a huge site, a big site, it is actually not a good practice to you have two different URLs serving the same pages. For all the three types that ensure that you optimize the meta tag, site verification and valuable content, whether you are using a responsive one, a dynamic URL or a separate URLs, make sure that the pages are completely optimized in terms of meta tags, in terms of keyword analysis in terms of long tail keywords and the site verification done across all search engines and these are actually consistent with whichever the configuration that you choose for. Better option and the most important option is actually go with a responsive site. The tools we have got in terms of actually optimizing the site for a mobile there are the following tools that you can actually use. Google Webmaster Tools also called as Google Search Console. It provides a lot of information in terms of crawling and indexing of your pages. Very good tool. Mobile Emulator is actually a very good uh, tool that actually helps you understand the navigation system and whether the site is properly tested or not. Most Local is actually a very very good tool when you are optimizing the website for smartphones. Responsive testing tool. If you want to test your website after building, whether it is displaying properly on a desktop, on a laptop, on a tablet and a smartphone, you test, use this tool to test the site whether the alignments are properly available or not. Screaming Frog is another very good tool that is actually downloadable. You can download it on your system and cross check the number of pages on the site, whether the number of external links, internal links, whether they are keywords, the title, the meta tags are properly aligned or not. And user agent switcher is actually a very good tool that helps you understanding whether your site is consistent with all the search engines or not. These are the some of the tools that you can use when you are actually making the website available for the smartphones and the responsiveness. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video are what is mobile SEO, key attributes of mobile SEO, mobile configurations and what are the different types of mobile configuration, responsive design, dynamic serving, separate URLs and mobile SEO tools. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.